Hey guys, it's Yaya and welcome back to my channel. Today we're making a turmeric facial gel mask. This gel mask is cold processed so we do not need any heat for this formula, making it super easy to make at home. Turmeric is a very potent pigment and natural colorant. It is an Ayurvedic herb with many, many benefits for skin care. Starting with phase A or the water phase. Phase A consists of water soluble ingredients. These ingredients can dissolve into water. So step one is to just add your water soluble ingredients to your distilled water and you wanna mix those in thoroughly. I'm using 11 grams of aloe vera juice and I'm also using 0.5 grams of liquid germal plus, which is our preservative. You can use whatever water soluble preservative works best for you. Just make sure that it is broad spectrum because this is water based. It contains mostly water. You want to make sure that your product is protected. Now that we have our water phase, we're going to set that to the side and move on to phase B. So for phase B, we're creating our slurry. A slurry is a combination of your powdered thickeners plus glycerin. It helps to predisperse your thickeners so that they will not clump later once we add our water. I'm using xanthan gum soft and also gar gum. In some cases, depending on if you have the right equipment, you can definitely skip this phase and slowly add your thickeners to agitated water. But we are home crafters and creating a slurry is probably the easiest way for us to hydrate our powders. Now that we have our slurry, we can move on to step three. So for step three, you just wanna add phase A, which is our water phase, to phase B, which is our slurry. As you add the water, just go ahead and start stirring and mixing. I believe it's best to use a whisk here. At first it might be a little lumpy, but that's okay. Just continue to whisk it up. I wasn't whisking it fast enough because my whisk is a little too big for this bowl, but for the purpose of this video, I just did the best that I could. <laughs> so if you have a smaller whisk, use that or a bigger bowl, just use that and mix it up very, very well. As the powder thickeners start to hydrate, you will see that they swell and you get this beautiful, thick cream. Look at the consistency. It created a very smooth, beautiful gel. It is not clear, but that is perfectly fine. We'll be coloring this anyway with the turmeric, but this is just the main base. All we did was add water to our thickeners and this is what we have. It's super easy to make, you guys. Now that we have the base for our turmeric face gel mask, we're going to go ahead and test the pH, create a 10% dilution. So you only need maybe two grams of your gel and you're going to add 18 to 20 grams of distilled water. And then you're going to test it with your pH meter. The pH of this gel naturally set at a 5.19. So I didn't have to do any adjustments at all. It's very important to test your pH because it can definitely determine the texture of your gel, whether it's looser or thicker, um, depending on what thickener you use. So I do not believe you would get the same consistency if you were to use xanthan gum clear. So it's very important to use xanthan gum soft here, or if you want to use just gar gum, uh, you can try that as well. But I don't know if the texture will be the same. That is something I would definitely have to test out. Okay, so now that we have our base complete and we have checked our pH, we can add our turmeric powder. So step four is just to add phase C to phase AB and you want to stir that gently in and mix it until it is uniform. Turmeric has a very potent pigment and can be used as a natural colorant. The color is very bright yellow to a deep orange. Depending on how it is diluted, your final creation or product can have a variation in color. I'm only using 0.5% of the turmeric powder. I did make sure to measure it out. I didn't want to just guess at it. And this is the beautiful color I got. So you can also adjust your formula if you want a deeper color. But also be very careful, especially if you have sensitive skin, that it will not become an irritant to your skin. 
Turmeric is a spice, so some people might be sensitive to that. So make sure you do a patch test before increasing the amount, decreasing in the amount, or using it at all. Look how silky smooth this is. It's so beautiful. I just love this consistency. It is not heavy and it's not greasy at all. It just has this gloss to it that is absolutely lovely. I can definitely also see using these thickeners to make a shampoo. So you want to apply this to the skin for maybe 10 to 15 minutes and then wash it off. Like I said, I only use 0.5% of turmeric powder and I got this beautiful, lovely color. So um, it's a very small amount of turmeric and this kind of helps with reducing staining. So if you decide to use more um, to make it more potent, I understand, but just be very careful because that will cause issues with staining. So far, I haven't had any issues with this staining um, my face or my skin. But um, if I wash off and I have residue on my face or my hands or anything and I use a paper towel or a washcloth or something, I definitely see the stain there. Uh, I would honestly just use a washcloth or clothing that you don't particularly care about just in case there is some staining. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this super, super simple, easy formula. It is super easy to make and I definitely want to do some more experiments with turmeric making other face masks. I really enjoy working with herb spices that um, are natural colorants. It's just one of my favorite things to do and I love experimenting to see how the color lasts and how the color works in the product and that's just one of the things I like to do. So you guys will be seeing a lot more color coming up in the next few videos where I will be just testing out natural colorants and how they last. So all right you guys anyway uh, leave some comments down below for some DIYs that you guys would like to see coming up and also some natural colorants that you use that you want to see more of and see me experiment with a little bit more and yeah i will see you guys in the next video don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell and definitely leave some comments down below i do my best to respond to them all right you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye two souls in the moonlight i stare into your eyes and you into mine lying perfectly still like we have frozen time I don't want this to be over